Once upon a time there was a beautiful unicorn named Sparkle who lived in an enchanted forest. Sparkle had a flowing magical mane and tail that shone with all the colors of the rainbow. When the sunlight hit her mane just right, Sparkle's colors would dazzle all the other forest creatures. One morning, Sparkle woke up excited to go about her day in the lovely forest. She merrily trotted over to the crystal clear stream deep in the woods to take a drink and get ready for the day. But when Sparkle looked down she gasped, her magical rainbow mane and tail had lost all its color. Her hair was now a plain dull white. Oh no! Sparkle cried, my colors are gone. How could this happen? The friendly woodland creatures gathered around trying to comfort poor Sparkle, but they could not explain what had made Sparkle's colors disappear. Sparkle galloped swiftly out of the forest and all the way into the fairy tale village nearby. Someone must know what happened to my colors. Sparkle called out to the villagers. The villagers gathered around the now colorless unicorn. This is awful, cried Scarlet the baker. Your mane is so plain and dreary now, said Cobalt the blacksmith. The villagers were kind people and wanted to help but none could figure out why Sparkle had lost the rainbow colors from her magical hair. Whatever could they do? Sparkle's head hung low as she walked sadly back to the enchanted forest. With no colors left in her mane or tail, she felt she had lost part of her magic. Not even the woodland animals could cheer her up. Later that night as the stars peeked out, Sparkle looked up through the forest trees. I wish I knew why I lost my colors, she sighed. Just then, a bright and colorful shooting star whizzed across the night sky. Sparkle quickly made a wish upon the star to get her colors back. And suddenly, poof! In a shower of magical pixie dust, a fairy godmother appeared. Do not worry brave Sparkle, she said in her sweet voice, I know why your colors disappeared, and I can help you get them back so you can spread joy throughout the land once more with your rainbow magic. Sparkle's eyes widened with hope as the fairy godmother explained that the wicked dragon which Xanter had grown jealous of Sparkle's colorful magic, so she had cast a spell to steal it away. But the fairy godmother knew how Sparkle could break the spell by going on a quest to recover her lost colors. The fairy godmother led Sparkle deep into the dark forest, a place most were too fearful to venture. But Sparkle was brave and determined to find her colors again. The fairy godmother explained the dark forest was where Xanter the dragon which lurked, though her lair was hidden. I know you can find it and face Xanter to get your colors back Sparkle, the fairy godmother encouraged before magically disappearing in swirl of stardust. Sparkle was initially afraid to go into the dark forest alone. The trees grew so thick hardly any light shined through. Strange sounds echoed around of creatures lurking in the shadows. But whenever her courage wavered, Sparkle remembered how much her colorful magic had brought joy to her forest friends, and pressed on through the eerie woods. Finally Sparkle came upon the large foreboding castle where Xanter dwelled. It was slick black and spiky, covered in thorns with no color at all. With trembling legs Sparkle walked up to the ominous doors. As she slowly pushed them open, a chilling voice bellowed, Who dares enter my domain? Sparkle shuddered but bravely replied, It is I, Sparkle. Out from a dark corner slithered Xanter the dragon witch. Her scales were jet black and her eyes glowed evil purple. In a booming voice she laughed, You fool. I have stolen all the colors from your magic, you are powerless. The dragon lunged for Sparkle, snapping her jaws fiercely. But Sparkle was quick on her feet and jumped safely out of the way. Give me back colors Xanter. Sparkle yelled. The dragon hissed and sent blasts of blue fire from her mouth. Sparkle galloped around to avoid the flames. Sparkle then lowered her horn and charged at the dragon, striking her right in the chest. Xanter tumbled backward from the force of the blow. While the dragon was stunned, Sparkle searched the lair until she found a glowing chest with a rainbow-colored lock. My colors! Sparkle exclaimed. But just as she touched the chest, Xanter appeared again breathing purple and black flames. Thinking quickly, Sparkle kicked the evil dragon right under the chin sending Xanter flying against the wall. Keys to the chest fell off Xanter's belt during the crash. 
Sparkle grabbed them with her mouth and tried each key until the lock clicked open. Sparkle's colors burst out in a rainbow explosion. They swirled brightly around Sparkle, filling her mane and tail once more with all the colors of the rainbow and sparkling pixie dust. Now Sparkle's horn glowed with her restored magic, making her stronger than Xanter's evil powers. Noo, the dragon roared in defeat, knowing Sparkle had broken her spell. Sparkle triumphantly left the dark castle behind, returning to the light of the enchanted forest where all her woodland friends cheered at the sight of her rainbow-colored mane and tail fully restored. Sparkle smiled and laughed, leaving a trail of pixie dust in her wake. Now her magic was even stronger and brighter than ever before after having braved the quest to recover her colors. And Sparkle lived the rest of her days happily spreading joy and fun everywhere she went with her rainbow magic flowing and glowing for all to see.